Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit that thumbs up button down below to show your support. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, you can go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. This is behind the narcissist mask. On the surface, narcissists seem confident, as though they know how to behave professionally. They can appear charming and articulate, when this is actually all a lie. It's a deceptive outward appearance. It's something they've learned from television, movies or other people. In order to trick and deceive you, into thinking there's something that they're not. It's an act, and it conveys nothing but useless and unimportant information, because it has nothing to do with who they actually are as a person. You've already seen what's beneath the mask. It's that cruel, vindictive side of them. That causes pain and suffering to you, while feeling no concern about it. That's who they really are. But there is also more to this than meets the eye. Narcissists have a false image. And this is what most people see. They're Decepticons. And they have fooled many people. Because they know how to promote and represent themselves as being polished and refined. When this is just a false image. It's a fake personality, which they have concocted from studying other people, whether they're celebrities or people in their lives. They've taken their most desirable qualities and traits and constructed an image which is ideal for them, when the true them is actually rough and ready, the unsophisticated and unrefined, they're streetwise to where they may possess skills and attitudes that are necessary for them to survive in difficult or dangerous situations or environments, which is how they always seem to have the upper hand over you. Because they adapted to a hostile environment in childhood, while you had a sheltered upbringing, you were overprotected by your parents so you didn't experience too many difficult or unpleasant experiences. But this also prevented you from experiencing life and from learning to cope with problems, to where you may be over-trusting and naive, but you may also struggle with anxiety. Because your parents may have led you to believe that danger lurks around every corner. To where you're now constantly freaking out about the potential harm you might experience which aren't irrational thoughts because predators who have learned to adapt to hostile environments in childhood are skilled at hunting down those people who came from sheltered upbringings because they see them as easy targets and this is why you tend to feel more comfortable at home and you may even suffer from agoraphobia, where you have a fear of open or crowded places, and you feel like everyone is out to get you, and predators will pick up on this and use it to their advantage. They will sense your awkwardness and social anxiety, and they will exploit it. And it may be difficult for you to understand or deal with, because you may have had a sheltered upbringing where you had limited exposure to unpleasant or difficult situations. You maintained an existence in a seemingly safe, innocent bubble. While for everyone else, life was ugly, violent and harsh. So they had to develop coping skills at a young age while you were unaware and lacked experience. But this is why you learn to obey your parents or other authority figures without hesitation. Because you were taught that you can't make life decisions for yourself. 
or you just didn't have enough enough life experience to do that. And you may feel like you have to ask permission just to even live your life. Because throughout your life, your parents may have micromanaged you. They may have decided what you could or couldn't eat, drink, wear, watch or spend time with. Which may make you feel guilty any time you want to do anything for yourself. Because you're worried if other people won't approve of it. And this is the perfect setup for a narcissist to come in and control everything. Because they're rough and ready. They're streetwise. So they're very good at manipulating people and getting them to trust them. Because this is what they had to do in order to survive. They weren't just given everything. They weren't taken care of like you were. They weren't sheltered or protected. So they've been through a lot already. They've had a rough ride. And when they ask you questions and you tell them about your life, they're listening to everything you say. They're absorbing the information because life wasn't like that for them. They had to struggle and fight for what they believed to be theirs. While you were kicking back without any worries or concerns, they had to go through hell. So in many ways, they actually envy how easy your life has been. And they wish their life was like that because they've been through a lot already and they felt that it was unfair as though they deserved better treatment. And of course, when they see you, you become a reminder of that. And they see it as though you didn't deserve the upbringing that you had. As though your life should have been theirs, which is why they will feel entitled to everything you have. And they will use you or treat you with contempt because they're bitter and resentful. But they know no one wants to be around someone like that. So they act polished and refined, as though they just sail through life without any storms, when they're actually just mirroring you, to make it seem like you have something in common, when in actuality their past was very different to yours. They could never be honest or authentic, because that would put them at risk. It would prevent them from getting their needs met. So they learned to cheat, lie and steal while making people believe they were the creator of it all. Because this is what they had to do to survive. They had to mimic people. They had to put other people down to make themselves appear as more intelligent, attractive, desirable, whatever else they deemed applicable to get them what they need. And many of these people strive to become doctors, lawyers or teachers because they're seeking credibility. They want to be seen as professional, as polished and refined, where people will trust and depend on them. So that it gives them this pleasant appearance where they may appear as agreeable, intelligent and hardworking. And as though there's someone who you can trust. When this is all just a performance, it's not who they really are. They've just constructed this image of someone who has sailed through life without any problems or difficulties as though they've had a sheltered upbringing because they've learned that this is most attractive and desirable. They've learned that these types of people are more popular and trustworthy so they want to appear like that. They try to be like that but beneath that mask is a child who went through a lot of difficulties and hardship a shell of a person who is very envious and feels entitled to anyone who had a better upbringing than them. Which is why they're so bitter, angry and hateful. But they're also very paranoid and afraid of being exposed for the leeches and parasites that they are. They fear being exposed. They fear being abandoned. And they constantly feel like other people are trying to manipulate them because this is the environment that they grew up in. 
where there wasn't enough to go around. Attention, money or resources were in short supply. So they developed a scarcity mindset where it's all about getting other people before they get them. And everything's a fight, everything's a struggle. To be heard, seen, valued and appreciated. To where they're now distrustful of other people. Which is why you cannot connect to them. And there's actually nothing there for you to connect to. It's just this entity, this void, which is driven to seek out narcissistic supply. There is nothing of value beneath their mask. Because they were not confined in a safe, protective environment as a child. They were exposed to a lot of difficulties and hardship. So they weren't able to grow or develop their own identity. Which is something that takes place in solitude. While well, for them, they had to be streetwise and develop survival mechanisms, which are typically where they rob or deprive other people of their energy and resources, because that's the only way they can survive. They can't generate anything from within. They have no inner sense of value. So they have to use other people to get their needs met. And this is why they're so dark, damaged and destructive because this is what they had to do. And yet they have this false sense of pride, as though they've achieved something. Because again, this is something that they've learned in their childhood, where they would cheat, lie, steal, and deprive other people of what's rightfully theirs, in order to experience this false sense of satisfaction and fulfillment, when in fact it is all a facade. And this is why they're so miserable. Because at some level, they know it. They know that it's not really theirs. So there's no reason for them to be proud of themselves. Or for other people to be proud of them. Because they didn't do it the right way. They didn't go through the trials and tribulations. They didn't strive, triumph and succeed. Like a true warrior. A true champion. Instead, they manipulated the situation in order to get their needs met. They exploited you. So they can never be happy with anything that they have. Because they know that they're liars, fraudsters, con artists. They know they're pretending to be something they're not. But they use this mask to protect themselves. And they wear it even when they're acting like you and putting you down. And it's the same mask they've worn since childhood. When they had to act tough and strong. When deep down they felt weak and vulnerable. It's not something that was polished and refined over a long period of time. It's something that they were subjected to. Rather than something where they willingly and deliberately chose to go out into the world and experience. They had no choice. They had no other alternative. So they wear this mask to attract other people into their lives while lying to themselves and pretending that everything is fine. When the reality is that they are miserable and dissatisfied because they're prisoners of their own making, they hung themselves they cause their own punishment to where they now have to pretend to be something they're not or to have some knowledge or ability that they really don't have in order to conceal their defects and appear more attractive, interesting and valuable so that they can deceive when this is actually the reason why they will never be happy. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.